Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over how to make your very own portable power box. Um, these things are fantastic. You can use them for fishing, hunting, camping, uh, anywhere that you want to have extra portable power for charging your cell phones, running different accessories, and uh, also you got little lights on it so you can use it as a flashlight. Uh, these things are pretty easy to make. They have a, a bunch of different configurations you can do with it. And fairly simple to wire up. Now this one I've, I've gone ahead and done a little bit of the prep work on. Just uh, to try to save some time in this video, make it a little bit shorter. But for the majority of it, it needs to get wired up yet. So on the top here, I have a USB, dual USB port. I also have a cigarette lighter. I have five switches. And this hole right here is going to be for the voltmeter. Now the best way I've found to make the holes on the top is to use a hole saw and a Dremel. If you just make a hole with the hole saw, at least this size that I have here, this is the uh, inch and an eighth. It's just a little bit too small, so then you just run the Dremel around the outside, a couple passes, and that uh, makes it just the right size. But if you step up to like the inch and a quarter, it's too big. You know, if you don't have a hole saw, uh, you can also use a regular drill bit and a utility knife. It'll take a little bit longer, but it'll still do the job. So after you have your holes made and your configuration will differ depending on how you want to set your box up, but once you have your holes made then you install your different accessories. And they're pretty simple to do. And I like to give like the voltmeter and the uh, USB and the cigarette lighter a little quarter turn while I'm tightening it. That way once you get this finger tight you can go ahead and turn this just a little bit. Sometimes you need a little help from the pliers. That gets it nice and snug. <clears throat> now what I've done in here so far is uh, I installed the fuse block and with the way this is going to be wired which you'll see in the video it's going to have the main power come in run through this fuse and run over to a master switch now none of this stuff will be powered up until the master switch is turned on. So we're going to run power to the master switch, then back out to the fuse block and to the voltmeter so that way when we flip our switch on we get to see how much uh, power or how much charge our batteries have. And then it's going to run through each one of these fuses and then back out to our accessories so everything will be fuse protected. Now in this one, I'm going to have two 9 amp hour batteries, 12 volt batteries in here. And to keep them from flying all over the place inside the box, I went ahead and made this little battery holder. I purchased this uh, aluminum flat stock. It's a uh, 16th of an inch by half inch and 3 feet long. And this section is about 8 inches long. That's uh, all I have left, plus I had one that I had to throw away because I messed it up. So you should have about 16 inches or so aluminum left if you decide to do something like this. And the batteries fit in here perfectly. And they don't fly all over the place. They sit in there pretty nice. Plus then you got storage on both sides. 
Now on this side, I've got the negative running to a central location. There's a little uh, bolt right here that uh, all the negative uh, terminals run to. So that way it keeps it a little bit cleaner. You can run your wires through here however you would like. Um, all the negative posts on the switches are hooked together and also the negative post right here on uh, my little power points I have on the outside those are good for running uh, these LED light strips um, running little jumper cables to other 12 volt batteries that you need to power uh, I also have a video on my channel how to make these little LED 12 volt light strips feel free to check that out and then we got the positive running over here to the second switch so this first switch is going to be our master our master switch I'm going to go back over to the battery side here and we're going to start hooking these up now we want these to be hooked together so they remain 12 volt and how we do that is we're going to hook the negative to the negative and then we're going to hook the positive to the positive when you're doing this you want to make sure that you pull when you hook these together you have a negative coming off of one battery and then the positive coming off of another battery you don't want to have them coming off the both both off the same battery because that will cause improper um, drainage of the battery so if you cross draw that'll create more uniform draw on the battery then we're going to run this over to the fuse block. So we can send power through it. That way everything is fuse protected. All right, so now we got power coming to here. We want to have power going over to the master switch. Now on these switches, <coughs> they have three terminals. You got a little brass looking one, which is your negative. The center post is the power in, and the outside post is the power out. So for this master switch to work, we want to run power coming out of the fuse block to the center of this. other or this first switch all right now in order to send power back to the fuse block and also have power go to your voltmeter we got to make a cord like this so it's gonna have a little splitter this is kind of the same concept to making all these little connectors for the positive and also all these little jumpers for the negative so we're going to hook this one up to the power out on the switch. Then we're going to put it on the positive on the voltmeter and then run this to the fuse block. Just like that. We're also going to hook up this negative to the negative side of the voltmeter. like that so now we have our master switch set up and it's sending power to the rest of the fuse block so now we're going to send power from the fuse block to the rest of our accessories so this first switch powers your positive and negative power terminals on the outside that's got power going out already it just needs power going in so we hook up a little cable from the fuse block down to the center terminal on the switch. The center terminal is your power in, the outer terminal is your power out. This next switch is going to power these two LED lights 
These are made by Hot Systems. Just two little LED lights with a bolt on the back. These things are super bright, super compact, and super clean. They work really well. So we have our positive cables right here coming out, heading over to the two LEDs, and the negative are just tied in to the, one of these negatives on the switch. So we're going to send power from our fuse block to the switch. There. Now that's hooked up. And to make these power cables are super easy. All you're going to do is you're going to take a, a roll of wire you're going to kind of eyeball it, set it where it needs to start and where it needs to end, pinch it off, use the clippers, the wire strippers, clip them off, you're going to strip the ends, then you're going to crimp on. Crimp on the end once I find one here. You're going to crimp on one of these. Just like that. And if you need to have it to go to a ring like this, it's the same exact thing. You just strip the end, crimp the end on. So now we have our last two switches, and these two switches are going to run power to your USB and your cigarette lighter. So we need to have power going in or coming out of the fuse block going into the switch. Then we need to have power coming out of the switch going to our accessory. So we're going to hook that up. The power out, sending power to the switch. Now after this video is over, I'm going to clean up these wires, zip tie them together a little bit so that way they're a little bit cleaner. just want to try to save a little bit of time. It's not fun to watch a 20 minute video. So we need to have power coming out of the fuse block. going to the center of the switch just like that and then power coming out over here so that's basically how your wiring should work if you choose to set it up this way now We'll see if it all works. So this switch is going to be our master on-off switch. Nothing has power to it until this switch is flipped. And even then, you still have to have the other switches on to power that specific accessory. So we're going to turn it on, showing 12.8 volts, which is good. Now we're going to go to our second switch, which is our power post. I'm going to hook up this little LED light strip, which I have a video on. Hook up the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. And as soon as we flip the switch, the LED light strip comes on. So we know that works. Our third switch here should power our LEDs on the front, which these are really nice for setting up, taking down at night. You can set this on the ground and it'll light up your whole area. Flip the switch, the LEDs come on. The switch powers the cigarette lighter, and this switch powers your USB for charging your cell phones, your cameras, whatever you use, uh, you plug USB, or use uses USB to charge. 
So that is how you make a power box. Pretty simple. There's a lot of different ammo cans you can use. Um, I've used the smaller ones uh, for one battery setups. This one I wanted a two battery setup. So if you're making a single setup, a single battery setup, it's the same process. You just have one battery. And the sky's the limit. You can make these however you want. They're very, very, very handy to have. So, and uh, that fuse block is held in by these two rivets right there. And then I also have rivets on the sides that holds the uh, battery holder in. So if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Uh, give a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you like, don't like. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.